All right, guys. <clears throat> Here we go. This is my uh, Cataldo Jaybird, a very faithful recreation of John Alec Entwistle's iconic Thunderbirds, who were built for him by Peter Cook in England back in the 70s. It combined for John what he thought were the best features of two bases. He loved Fender, as he called them, blonde necks, maple. Um, those were his favorites. Um, plus the uh, electronics, the pickups from Gibson Thunderbird bases. He thought these pick up pickups gave him more low end. He was feeling that his uh, precision bases weren't providing low end in the big shows that they were doing. So he had Peter Cook conjure these up. And this is a bass I've been fascinated with all my life. I've been making versions of this bass myself, oh, probably since, well, the first one was in 1981. Um, I actually started uh, a few years before Cataldo basses started building uh, Thunderbirds uh, to make my own. And I, I kind of dropped the ball. I lost interest. I didn't have the time. I didn't have the capital. So this is where Cataldo basses came in. Cataldo came in and started building very faithful recreations of the uh, the Fender Birds that John Entwistle used. And he cleverly called them J-Birds. So I'll give you a little look at the logo back there. So it's J-A-E for John Alec Entwistle, uh, which I thought was pretty darn good marketing. So onto the base. The body is all mahogany, very Thunderbird shaped. It has a unique uh, pick guard that was styled by Peter Cook. It's quite different. It's more reminiscent of a non-reverse pickguard than a reverse uh, pickguard. The uh, pickups are by Steve Soar. They're Thunderbird pickups. They're recreation uh, 60 spec Thunderbird pickups under nickel covers. I believe these are the 63s that I have in here. Um, the base does have my bad bird bridge on it. And the tailpiece was made by a, a dear friend of mine. Actually, he had a friend make them. But this is before Thunderbird parts were available anywhere. And this is out of stainless steel. And it's a dimension wise, it's very accurate. And my good friend Bill Wallace had these made up. And he's since passed. But I leave it on there as a tribute to him and our, our just determination as a group to get whatever we want uh, Thunderbird related. Um, the body is finished in black, nitrocellulose lacquer. It is solid mahogany. The neck is a all parts. Again, it's a uh, Fender Jazz Bass neck, 70s dimensions. It's rather thick on the back, which I like. Has the narrow Jazz Bass width, jazz bass width at the nut. Um, it's held on via the four bolt plate a la Fender. Um, the uh, tuners are uh, 70s reissue. They're very nice. I can't seem to find these anymore. But uh, the bass plays and sounds wonderful. Uh, I get a lot of comments at live shows and it's just, you know, it adds that other dimension to my Who tribute that, you know, we've got one more little piece of gear that that whistle used. So I'll, uh, I'll start off with a pick. Uh, that's what I usually do, but it's, uh, it's got that, it's not quite as gnarly as the, uh, the Cataldo non-reverse with the, uh, 66 Max Thunderbuck, Thunderbucker pickup, but it still has that, that unique you know, real distinct Thunderbird sound. And again, you're going to think of Entwistle when you hear this bass. supposed to be substitute by the who um, again this base features two pickups I rarely use the bridge pickup I'm a neck pickup guy so I've got this thing cranked right down 
um, you'll find that it's really not all that present. So I apologize, it's not giving you a real good idea what the neck pickup, the bridge pickup sounds like. I'm a neck pickup guy. That's what I like, so this is what you're going to get. It's nice, full, it's in the right spot, right where that harmonic is. For me, that's my ideal position of a pickup. Um, again, you know, very versatile bass, and again, if you use this bri bridge pickup, you're going to get a lot more tones out of it. But if you roll this bass back, it becomes, you know, real warm, real fuzzy, just you So there it is, the uh, Cataldo Jaybird. Love playing this bass. Sounds great on stage, running through the high watts, it's something else. So again, if you're looking for a Fender Bird, I'd give Cataldo a call. Great basses, great to work with. And uh, it's, it's just, it was a dream come true really to get an iconic bass like this in my hands. You know, as a kid, you look at all these pictures and stuff and you barely know where to start. And of course, there was no information back then. Just, you know, one picture in some advertisement for Sun or something is like the best picture you got of this bass. So now to have an actual recreation that looks the part, sounds the part, it's a big thrill. And I really enjoy this bass. Thanks a lot, guys.